What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. And a really, really shocking thing: the uh, Detroit Red Wings named Jeff Blashill the new head coach. Obviously, it was you know coming for a while, but you know I think it's a good move. Um, he's been in the organization for a while. Uh, he's coached at a lot of different levels: Miami, Ohio, Ferris State, the college level. Um, you know, with the Indiana Ice at Western Michigan, and then as a Wings assistant for for a minute there. So you know, I think it's really just a. Uh, you know, he's earned its stripes, um, and again, he, he knows he has the organization down pat, and I think he'll do a fantastic job, um, you know, coaching this uh, this wing squad in the wake of uh, his mentor, Mike Babcock, taking his talents to uh, to Toronto. The wings are in good hands. Uh, you know, their organization is class from top to bottom. You know, they know what they're doing, um, you know, whether it's, it's Kenny Holland or the Oach family. Um, you know, I've got the most, I've got the most confidence in uh, whoever they hire. And again, Blash has been in the organization. He's done a great job in Grand Rapids. And, uh, you know, he's coached a lot of these players with the Wings, um, you know, when they were in the AHL in the minor leagues. So, um, again, I, I love the move. And, you know, it's the least shocking move of all time. I don't think they interviewed another candidate. Um, and, again, I just think he's, you know, a good fit. He's a hell of a coach. And he's going to do some really, really great things with this um, with this squad. I just, uh, you know, it. Taking over from Mike Babcock stuff. You look at the the great track record he had in Detroit, but you also look at the Wings have been a great team before Mike Babcock got there. You know, whether it was under Scotty Bowman or, or whoever. Um, so I mean, as much as you're you're filling that void, the organizational success has been there. Uh, you know, you, you just gotta help with this little mini makeover in terms of the youth movement that they're putting into place, and I think it'll be fine. You know, I think he's going to do a, a, a good job. I think he was given, he was groomed properly, and uh, he's got enough familiarity not only with the system, but with the individual players to do some really, really great things, um, you know, for the Wings. So, again, I think fans in Detroit have every reason to be happy. And, again, this has been coming since Babcock left like a month ago. So, uh, really shouldn't catch anyone by surprise. So, again, um, best of luck to Mr. Blashill, and I'm curious to see how he handles uh you know, taking over one of the uh, preeminent franchises, not only in the NHL, but uh, but in sports. Anyway, and that's all. It's sort of the power play with CJ. See some more episodes to the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.